This brief video will be on the life of the prophet Joseph Smith, the founder of the Church of Latter-day Saints, and it'll be a brief uh, study in regard to civil rights. This is uh, Joseph Smith's brother, Hiram, here. And this will be uh, about in regard to the incidents of the murder of Joseph Smith at the Carthage Jail. The Smiths have been in prison numerous times in regard to their Mormon faith. Here's uh, Joseph Smith here, imprisoned at the Liberty Jail right outside Kansas City. And see uh, the conditions they were forced to live in for their religious beliefs. Another shot here of, the, of Smith uh, at the Liberty Jail here, uh, just showing the dang conditions they were kept under. Now, they had done no crime other than they wanted freedom of religion. The Smiths escaped from the Liberty Jail here. Later, they were to meet their end at the Carthage Jail, well, Joseph Smith was. You can just see here. They insisted an angel got him out of this situation. Probably a person with a lot of sympathy. Now, this is a picture of the Carthage Jail where Joseph Smith was murdered here. This is in Carthage, Illinois. They were murdered by fanatics. And we'll go over the very brief story of this. Carthage Jail is a museum here run by the Church of Latter-day Saints. A picture of the inside of the jail here where uh, Smith was held. You can see it's sort of privately run, uh, very austere place. Another picture here from the museum here inside, just showing the, here's the place where the prophet was held in the Carthage jail just for his religious beliefs. The story goes here that this woman gave uh, this guard here, there was only one guard on duty, gave him some drink or something, bribed him somehow. There was a mob after Joseph Smith due to his religious beliefs uh, and Mormonism close up here to sort of indicate the lackadaisical position of the guard here really didn't uh, care much and admitted the mob into the jail. Photo here showing the position of Joseph Smith and his brother here. Supposedly he was suspecting something terrible would happen. He was supposedly reading his Book of Mormon here. Like I said, they had done no crime other than being Mormons. Once again, uh, this scene here is historically correct. The people that were here with him uh, when the mob came to get him. Another shot of the same uh, curator of the present museum here at the time, showing the bullet holes here where the mob got, came in to knock, to kill Joseph Smith. And they threw him out a window, called it defenestration. This is a current a uh, woman of the Mormon faith here just who runs the, also runs the museum. The museum is run by the Church of the Latter-day Saints. Another picture here, Joseph reading, awaiting the mob that he knows is going to kill him. Supposedly a lot of people were irate about uh, the Mormons were getting a lot of land in the area, a lot of uh, people making jealousy, also their practice of polygamy, although at a time this was uh, a time when cousins married regularly and there was polygamy and other, other religions and things at this time. But uh, for some reason the Mormons were singled out, not defending polygamy or anything. Courageous Joseph Smith, whether you believe in Mormonism, whether you despise the religion, whatever, you can't deny the man's courage, the courage that it took for him to stand and face this angry mob who was he, who he was 100% sure was going to kill him. Once again, the curator showing the holes where the door was pushed out by the mob, and there's the bullet, sh bullet shot through the door there. This is the home where Joseph Smith lived in at the time. This is the Smith home in Nauvoo, Illinois. He was uh, arrested and, later, and taken to the Carthage jail. This other shot here of it. A Mormon gentleman who runs the uh, mill shop at the uh, at Nauvoo, which is also a museum run by the Church of Latter-day Saints. Here's the grave of the prophet Joseph Smith in Nauvoo, Illinois. And uh, right up there is the Mississippi River, you can see it. And the Mormons left from here, to, they crossed the Mississippi after, the, after Joseph Smith was murdered. Here's his headstone, Joseph Smith the Prophet, 1805 to 1844. Just, it just talks about the Book of Mormon here, that he was the founder of the... This is overlooking Joseph Smith Farm in Nauvoo, Illinois. There's the Mississippi River, and the Mormons take off shortly after this to head west.
and uh, this area here is the place where the crossing was. You can see some of the beaver dams, some of the beaver have come back from there. This is the crossing where the Mormons crossed the Mississippi into Missouri.